coaching stuff. So so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that to be. He's he's a lot better at it. But just great day for our guys. A lot of good swings and great energy in the building for the weekend drills. So just really proud of the way our guys competed today. What was working so well for Terrell at the plate really all weekend, it seems like? He just seemed like he was in a good position to hit the whole time. I mean, he hit heaters, change-ups, breaking balls, and uh, he's really confident with two strikes. So we do a drill in the cages during the week where I just get in there and try to literally strike everybody out. He's a guy that's kind of frustrating, even as close as I am. He does a good job. So there's some carryover there, but just kind of locked in. That's what my favorite part about our offense is at any point, any guy can get you one to nine. So, you know, Joey and Trey were the guys today. So good day for him. With the way Darrell's career started, just how happy are you to see him have success? Oh, it's, it's huge. I mean, uh, again, that was my very first recruiting trip at Tennessee was Darrell. It was one of the first first games I saw. And uh, we were really excited about him early uh, to get here. And, and right before he got here, he actually was playing uh, in a big tournament out in New Mexico and tore his uh, UCL. So we lost him for the year. But uh, just a ton of hard work. He's such a good kid, and he can really hit. And a lot of people don't know, he, hit, he led our team in hitting last fall. And extra base hits really drove the ball. So, you know, that, that's a tough thing to overcome. But he did a really good job of staying the course, being a good teammate, and, and uh, he deserves all the success that he's getting now. What do you like about him in the two holes? Does that kind of go back to that hard to strike out, good with two strikes guy? Yeah, I think he's going to give you a quality at bat. I mean, that's what Tony and I talk about with the guys all the time is it's just on quality at bats. And he'll do that. He's not afraid to fight with two strikes. He can use the whole field. Hit spin, hit velocity, I and mean, he's exactly what you're looking for in that spot. Last night, you came through being QB1. I mean, what did you see after you gave up that solo shot there in the first? Just, just unfazed. I mean, that's what he does. He just throws strikes, fills it up with really good stuff. And uh, he, he was really, really good again today. And uh, solo homers don't beat you. That's what Coach Anderson and Coach B harp on all the time. So just attacking the strike zone, letting our guys play defense again. How rare is his consistency for a freshman week to week? Yeah, it's pretty rare, to be honest. I really do think football helps a lot, just the prep there. Uh, but even in the fall, he's just kind of easy going. He always in his routine, doing what he needs to do, and he's going to give you quality each time out. So, you know, hopefully that uh, remains the same moving forward. Coach, you talked about the drill earlier and going down to recruit him. And, you know, early on when y'all got here, having to make some of those trips and try to convince some of those big guys to come to Tennessee, how – yeah, how much, I guess, appreciation is there that, that they were, you're able to do that, and, and how were you able to convince those guys to come? Yeah, no, I mean, the conversations were a little bit tougher, you know, four or five years ago, just to be honest, and, uh, but, you know, with Tony leading the charge, having Coach Anderson as our pitching coach, it's a very attractive place, and obviously Knoxville and, and University, uh, first-class facilities and great people everywhere, so, you know, we, we knew if we had a chance to get people on campus, show them what Knoxville is all about, uh, we'd be in a pretty good position, but it's a really cool deal being the recruiting coordinator to go see these guys when they're 14, 15 years old and meet their families and they get here, get to work with them in the cage and to see them have success. I mean, that, that's what it's all about. So really cool, but it's a great place and uh, we're really excited about the guys are coming over the next years too. What do you think it says about the team that they were able to overcome losing Friday night for the first time to start a series, the, the stuff with Frank and Tony, Dolly going down, what do you think it says about the team? Uh, just resiliency. I mean, uh, next man up, we always, you know, Gilbert is, He's a character, but we always kind of joke about this stuff. And, uh, but it's just next day up, find a way to get it done. It's in our locker room all it says get it done. So that's was just the mentality from the jump is get our work in prep and then go out there and compete. The guys did that against them. What was, I guess, your reaction, the overall reaction to Tony being a four-game suspension? You know, honestly, this is the first time I've heard it. I didn't even know. Um, obviously, it's not good. I mean, he's I think he's one of the best coaches in college baseball. So, But he'll find a way, some way, somehow, he'll have our guys prepared and uh, you know, he'll, he'll put us in a position to win, without a doubt. Anything else? All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.